Well, hi everybody. I want to talk about some record collections that I recently stumbled upon. And, it, you know, I have to go back to the beginning of the year where I made a video saying I was going to cut down on a lot of the vinyl that I pick up. Now, I have done that. And uh, I think some of you out there who collect vinyl will know what I'm talking about. Many a time, you know, you go and you say, ah, I think I'll pass on this. Uh, I don't need this. I don't really have to have this. And I've done the same thing. I passed on a lot of vinyl stuff that I've seen. I do it all the time when I go in the record store. I come out empty-handed many times. Things I might have bought in the past that I pass on today. So the thing is, though, what you might notice that I've noticed is no matter how many times we do that, uh, even though we know we're cutting back, to everybody out there, looks like you're still buying nothing but, but vinyl, right? So we know we're cutting back, but they don't. Anyway, so I went to my record store the other day, and what I noticed was he had a whole pile of these very big and bulky box sets, and they were music of the 1930s and 40s for the most part, swing music. And a while ago, a couple of years ago, I was getting into early big band stuff, you know, stuff like from the, you know, Glenn Miller and uh, Harry James and... Uh, Benny Goodman, stuff like that, the Dorseys, and I have a lot of that already. Did I need any more? Not really, except I got kind of like trapped in once I actually went there and saw these record sets. They look so cool, and I found out that he was getting ready to throw them out. He said to me, the store owner did, if you want to have these, you can just take them. Good old Bazooka Joe, I got to say. Bazooka Joe over at Infinity Records was nice enough to give these to me and i'm going to start by this one here this isn't this isn't the swing ones i'm going to show you but this is a kind of like the you know, cherry on the top not king cole unforgettable and it's got the capital logo there uh this is a uh, not king cole set i always like me some not king cole beautiful voice just want to give you some idea of what this is now you know when you have a lot of records like this, especially in box sets like this, you know, they take up a lot of space. We already have problems with space as it is, don't we? Well, you know what my new motto is? Well, it's actually something I've always felt, but I'm going to use it as a, a new motto, motto here on my channel. Collect now, worry about where to put it later. So remember, that's the new one for everybody out there. So there are six records in this set. And this is the first of many that I'm going to show you here. Okay, so for those who go for this sort of thing, or maybe if you don't, you'll still be interested. Okay, these are what the sets look like. They're by Time Life, Time Life Records. The Swing Era, the music of 1936 and 1937. Benny Goodman, Tommy Dorsey version, uh, mostly what we have on here. Fred Norvo version, Bob Crosby version. And these all seem to have books in here. I won't take every one of them out. They come with really nice books. I mean, they're worth showing, I guess, everyone individually. The movies between Vitaphone and video. You know, so this is a movie version. I mean, it just has a lot of great pictures in here. And here's one here. Huh. It's kind of an interesting <laughs> shot for today's standards. Make of this what you will. Um, as you can see here, we've got some Disney stuff. The Man Who Made the Music, Benny Goodman. So as I say, I'm not going to show all the books, but these all, all come with these books. And uh, inside, I mean, these are so nice. Time Life Swing Era, 36 to 37. Okay, so that's the first one. Um, while I could indeed, you know, show all of them, can't help but think that would get a little dull. So. Sorry for those of you who want to see it. All right, next up. Bear with me. I hear the neighbor upstairs stirring about. Am I annoying you? Sorry. Not really. Anyway, here we go. The Swing Era, the music of 1937 and 1938. 
same deal. Book, records. Count Basie version of uh, Every Tub, for example. <laughs> uh, Glenn Gray version of Sleepy Time Gal. Chick Webb, etc. That was Vintage Years of Humor. Here's the Swing Era. The music of 1938-1939. Where Swing came from. Raymond Scott, Artie Shaw, John Kirby, Larry Clinton, etc., etc. Swing Era, the music of 1939-1940. A real dream of a year. Duke Ellington, uh, Glenn Miller, Tommy Dorsey, Gene Krupa version. Okay, um, and if the neighbor upstairs it isn't enough, we got the maintenance man outside on a nice sunny day working out the window. Enjoy, folks, it's live. <laughs> okay, Swing Era, the music of 1940, 1941, how it was to be young then. Harry James, we got on this, and uh, you know many others here. Earl Hines, Woody Herman. Let's just take one book out of here. We'll examine one more of these. Next up, Swing Era, music of 1941 and 42, Swing as a Way of Life. Swing Era, music of 1942-1944, when sport was mighty sporty. <laughs> So, this is a real nice collection. Oh, we've got some Nat King Cole on here. And a couple more. Swing Era, music of 1944 and 45, the golden age of network radio. All right. And music of the post-war years of the Swing Era. A clutch of characters, it says. There. Stan Kenton, Randy Brooks, and so on. Billy Butterfield, Bobby Sherwood, Les Brown. So anyway, um, yeah, I picked all of these up. They were free. And, uh, you know, I've even passed free stuff before. I mean, I'm not going to take anything that's for free just because it's free if I really don't have any curiosity or interest in it whatsoever why bother uh, but as you can tell all of these together when you put them side by side they're heavy and they actually take up a lot of space so we'll see what I where I what I do with these how it goes um, as time goes on I'll be playing this while I'm on the computer doing my thing up right here up here on the turntable uh, I'll play them and I'll see if I like them I'll keep them if not I'll put them to the curb Oh, I know the people out there that would want them. Don't throw them out, you'll say. But uh, it was worth picking them up for nothing. And sometimes the mood just strikes you. So everybody, swing away.